35 vehicles from movies and TV will compete so we can find five new members for Movie or Lose It. Hi, everybody. I'm Aaron Yanda. We haven't seen Movie or Lose It for a long time. If you're going to try to make a comeback, you better make sure you got some good vehicles. So we're going to carve these 35 cars down into just five who will make up the team. Evil Weevil, sponsored by Track Buffer LLC, is in place. Let's start this off. First up, round one is going to be 82 Dodge Diplomat, sponsored by Chome. This car is specifically from Beverly Hills Cop 2, though it's been in a lot of movies. The Yellow Submarine from the movie of the same name, sponsored by Stump's Tree Farm. Yellow Submarine immediately flips over sideways. Man, that's a rough start. Pushes the Dodge Diplomat a little bit off track. It's still on the track, though. We'll see what happens. The Meat Wagon from National Lampoon's Animal House. The Meat Wagon knocks the Yellow Submarine off the track. It does not recover. It had a chance, but just flipped over. Not good balance, apparently. And the Dodge Diplomat makes the escape. E.T. sponsored by Emo Dinga. This is a character car. E.T. slams into the line and eliminates the meat wagon, smashes it into the crates, pushes Evil Weevil off to heavy vehicle, and then locks it in. From Breaking Bad, it's the 82 Chevy Monte Carlo, sponsored by Sand Dragon Workshop. This car was on a team a couple seasons ago, the Cars. It did all right, and it does a great job eliminating E.T. here and locking it in. Truck from the Fall Guy, the 82 GMC K2 500, sponsored by Coffee Run. Fall Guy wrestles with the back of that Monte Carlo, but can't push it off. In fact, goes up in the air and performs a bit of a trick, lands back upright again, and is trying to get off the track now. The one and only 83 GMC Bandura from the A-Team, sponsored by StarCorps Industries. The van butts the Fall Guy truck off the track. It lands on top of the meat wagon and keeps it steady. That should be a survive. We'll make it to the next round. Up next, he needs no introduction. It's Snoopy, sponsored by the Mad Brit King. Snoopy drives his doghouse right off the back of the A-Team van, and look at that kickflip he does before he lands. Keeps it steady, bounces perfectly, and stays alive. A classic from James Bond, Toyota 2000 Roadster, sponsored by Judy Collins. The Roadster smashes the A-Team van over the top of the Breaking Bad Monte Carlo. A-Team remains balanced, and look at that, the Roadster escapes, just like James Bond. 70s van, sponsored by Jorgoth the Infinite Horror. This 70s van sports a Walking Dead logo on it. It's a custom van. Ooh, man, look at that. Monte Carlo taken down, just like Rick Grimes taking out a zombie. And the A-Team van does a great job of keeping it steady and level. Puss in Boots, sponsored by Reaper EOD. Puss in Boots slams into the Walking Dead van and topples it sideways. And look at that recovery by the Monte Carlo. Pushed by the van that just took it down and flipped over to a recovery. The infamous General Lee, sponsored by Farty Marty. General Lee slams into Puss in Boots, pushes the back of the car up. It gets wedged in the safety rail. Will that be a good thing? I guess we'll see. When the Monkey Mobile hits the track, sponsored by Chris and Katz, Casa de Chaos. Monkey Mobile slips underneath the General Lee, pushes it up a little bit, but some boots gets pushed up also. No eliminations, but cars are starting to stack up. The 66 Ford Thunderbird, sponsored by Mook House Horse Farm. This car is from Thelma and Louise. A nice slam on the Monkey Mobile, pushes it just about off the track, and it's bordering on sideways. Now there's a real jumble down there. A nice heavy vehicle could do some damage. 70 grams on Poe, not too bad, sponsored by Mark the Music Lover. Poe slams into place and knocks the monkey mobile. Oh man, it looks like it's making a recovery. General Lee slips and slides a little bit, but no damage. 86 Ford Taurus, sponsored by Hendrika's Heavy Hauling. The police car from Robocop pops Thelma and Louise's car up in the air, tail end up. It goes curbside, but does not topple. And Poe still locked in. The Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow from Cannonball Run, sponsored by Sicken. A solid push into place, and no eliminations there either. These cars are all very tough to eliminate so far. Maybe the Ford Super Deluxe from Back to the Future can do something, sponsored by Tribbles Troublemakers. 
Super Deluxe pops the Robocop squad car off the track. That's all it does. Biff Tannen not having much luck there. A uh, great opportunity here for Marty to get some revenge. It's the DeLorean sponsored by Beaks Busted Barn Finds. And it doesn't work out. He can't knock Biff's vehicle off the track. A little movement up front, but still no eliminations. It's been a while. Dodge Monaco from the Blues Brothers, sponsored by DYW Production Labs. The Monaco slots into place, and now we got a line growing. These cars are tough. Here comes a pretty big one. 77 Plymouth Fury, sponsored by Jason's Bits Boys from the show Hunter. The Plymouth Fury forces the DeLorean underneath the Super Deluxe, and it is poised to take a tumble. Here comes another 77 Plymouth Fury. This one is from the A-Team, sponsored by Mr. Mark. It's also a police car. It slams into the other Plymouth Fury, and it knocks the Super Deluxe over, but the Super Deluxe makes a recovery. The DeLorean does not. I even have a feeling that manure on the top of the Super Deluxe actually helped it make that recovery. The Mercedes-Benz LG 300. And there's Indiana Jones being pulled behind it. Sponsored by Sean and Patrick Hogan, it slams into a tight line and flips over, cannot control after that big impact. I don't know where Indiana Jones went. I think he's around there somewhere. Kit now, sponsored by Tim the Bear Neal. Kit slams into the Mercedes and Indiana Jones and the vehicle itself topple over and out. They will not be on the team. Here's a Star Wars car, Zuckus, sponsored by Sloss Automotive Sachet and Buffet. Zuckus takes a shot at Kit, but can't do much. Makes it go curbside, but then goes curbside itself. The line is tight. Speed Racer Snake Oiler, sponsored by G Zeus. Snake Oiler takes a shot at Zuckus. Zuckus flips over on that rounded top. It survives, and now Kit is poised to take a leap. Another Speed Racer car coming right down. The Mach 4, sponsored by Sid from Cybertron. The Mach 4 takes out its fellow Speed Racer car. Snake Oiler flipping over upside down, and Kit managing to just about escape, but not quite enough. That is a bad position to be in. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, sponsored by Jedi. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, a flying car. Doesn't manage to take flight on that hit, but stays level and on the track. 89 gram hit coming up, 75 Chevy Blazer Custom, sponsored by Price X Private Parts. A hefty hit from the Blazer that was in Jaws, and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang slides to a stop, makes a nice recovery. Not so nice of a recovery for that Blazer. A little bit top heavy, and it's out. It couldn't quite monster truck its way out of that situation. Final car of 30, the Ghost Rider Charger. We've seen this car before, sponsored by Sean's Toy Room. I believe this car used to be on the Dead and Gone team back in the day. Back in action now for Movie or Lose It takes out Kit, and that will be another elimination to end round one. There's gonna be nine eliminations in the round. That's not very many, but that's a good sign for Movie or Lose It. They want the five best cars they can get. One measurement here on the Super Deluxe Biff Tannen. Turns out the car is eliminated. Marty McFly has won after all. That'll put us at 10 eliminations. Let's take a look at the aftermath. 25 cars left. We gotta go until there are five, so let's head right into round two. Action. And because the movie or lose it team really wants to test these cars and see what they're made of, they're gonna increase the speeds and try to get a bunch more eliminations. Monkey Mobile heads down first, goes curbside immediately. The Monte Carlo speeds down afterwards and knocks the Monkey Mobile head over tail, but it makes a nice recovery landing down by the crates. That's a good sign at increased speeds. Next up, it's the Fall Guy, a big hit that bounces up on top of the Monte Carlo and then starts to slide off the track. It is poised in an awkward position, though. A-Team is next and takes down the Fall Guy GMC. That thing goes over sideways and probably is finished. Puss in Boots takes a shot at the A-Team van, manages to almost push it off the track, and what a catapulting landing afterwards. Flipping around, that car is showing some good agility. The James Bond Roadster slams into the Monte Carlo, manages to help the A-Team van dismount and basically make a recovery. The Blues Brothers bash their way into position, and the Monte Carlo goes curbside. Zuckus with a big hit in the Monte Carlo is finished off, tossed over upside down. It will not make the team. And right now, Zuckus is also in peril. 
Plymouth Fury does Zuck us a favor, tossing it on top of the side of the A-Team van, where it attempts to make a recovery, but can't quite do it. If it gets out of that position, it might have a chance. And there was the chance for Thunderbird pushing Zuckus all the way off the track. It makes a recovery and the Roadster's going off. Cannonball Run, Silver Shadow mixes things up a little bit. Ooh, a bumper has come off of the Plymouth Fury, it looks like. The back of that squad car has lost a bumper and we've got some damage. Chitty Chitty bangs into place. The Roadster starts to exit the track. Speed Racer with an undercut, and that was Chitty Chitty Bang Bang's weakness. It gets flipped over upside down, the wings not preventing the elimination. And look what happened to Mach 4. It just flipped over on the track, took itself out. Snoopy hurls himself off of the Mach 4 Speed Racer, tumbles all over the place, bounces off of his own head, and just about makes the recovery, but can't do it. The 86 Ford Taurus hits a wall. The Rolls Royce remains immobile, and the push bar on the front of the squad car goes flying all over the place, breaks off completely, and that Taurus is going over. Poe finishes off the Robocop car. It drives nice and smooth over all the rest of the cars, but then just loses it right at the end. The Plymouth Fury slots in. We got a line of five. Ghost Rider joins the crowd. Now we've got six backing up. Dodge Diplomat tries to get under Ghost Rider, but can't really do it. Man, this line is really going far back. The General Lee yeehaws into place and starts pushing the Ghost Rider off the track. Has a little trouble staying on itself. But that is the last car of the round. We've already gone through 25. Increased speeds garnered us six eliminations and uh, Plymouth Fury lost its bumper. Pretty tough car, probably isn't gonna need that bumper anyway. There are our six eliminations. Let's take a quick look at the aftermath. We're down to 14 cars. Movie or Lose It has a lot of good cars to choose from here. But just how great are they? Let's find out in round three by going up to maximum speed. We're gonna make all these cars push it down as fast as they can. The Fury speeds into position. And the Roadster smashes into position. Something got broken off. I can't really tell what it was. Back of the Fury does not look damaged, so it must have been the Roadster. And even at maximum speeds, these cars are just locked into the track. They cannot be removed. Even Puss in Boots cannot manage an elimination. There is stuff flying everywhere. Bits and pieces breaking off the cars at maximum speed, but still no eliminations. Rolls-Royce firms up the line, but goes curbside. The Thunderbird loosens it up a little bit, the hood of the car going straight up and staying there. The Diplomat firms the line back up. Puss in Boots is squeezed out, but makes a fantastic rollover to a recovery. And the Rolls-Royce also recovers, still no eliminations. Poe forces the Dodge Diplomat underneath the Thunderbird. A little bit of action now. Big Van coming down and look at that hop by the Thunderbird. What a recovery. The Diplomat is going over and is in danger. Could we have our first Elim in this round? The Diplomat somehow escapes the line and now the Plymouth Fury up front is starting to go over, but it doesn't quite go. Finally, a nice smash from the Ghost Rider and the Roadster and the Hunter Plymouth Fury are eliminated. Oh man, Poe was also eliminated. The Monaco, oh, that is a close one. Looks like it's still in, but that was definitely a triple takedown. It was awful close to a quadruple takedown. Zuckus tightens up the line. Grass goes flying up in the air and the Dodge Monaco is eliminated, finishing it off. Max speed hit by the General Lee, just bounces back a little bit. Little bit of settling, but nothing major. Final car of the round, the Monkey Mobile takes down the General Lee, but also takes itself out at the same time. These cars have been surviving at max speed. That's very few eliminations, all things considered. Same amount of eliminations as last round, gonna be six. We are getting close. There are your six eliminations. Taking a look at the aftermath. There's only eight vehicles left. We're gonna keep at the max speeds for round four. We're gonna try to narrow this down to five. 
Let's click into action on round four. 66 Ford Thunderbird will start us off. Speeding down the track, slotting into place. Nice low car, that probably helps it. The Dodge Diplomat tries to take down and some sort of detritus flying around there. These cars are taking damage with these speedy hits. Rolls Royce tries to mix things up and only succeeds in putting itself up in the air. Thunderbird makes another great recovery. That Rolls Royce is gonna go over. Puss in Boots tries to do the job and it backfires. It bounces over upside down. The Rolls Royce escapes and Puss in Boots is now sideways in trouble looking back down the track. The Green Plymouth Fury takes it down. Puss in Boots, the first elimination of the round. It slips and slides, tries to flip itself back over, but can't quite do it. The Mandura tries to make something happen, but these stiff, blocky cars refuse to leave the track. Zuckus shoots into the A-Team van, tosses it off the track and over. A heavy takedown there, and that van is done. Final car of the round, the Ghost Rider tries to take out Zuckus, can't quite manage it. Does manage to get the Plymouth Fury off the track, but I don't think that's an elimination. Nice pose there at the end by Ghost Rider. Two more eliminations in that round, and that is gonna take us down to six. All we're gonna need is one more elimination in round five to decide who the five team members will be for movie or lose it. Plymouth Fury starts us off. It goes a little askew after that hit on Evil Weevil, and now it's curbside. This could be trouble. And trouble it is. Zuckus providing the takedown and basically ensuring that Zuckus makes the team as long as it can get off the track safely. If more than one car is eliminated, we'll have to come up with a different way to decide the winners here. And that'll do it. Zuckus is almost certainly going to be on the team. That's our first team member decided. If the Thunderbird can stay in that position, it will also make the team. No track buffer left on the track, and the Dodge Diplomat struggles with that hit. The Thunderbird makes a fantastic escape, and it will be on the team. Not so sure about the Dodge Diplomat, though. It's bumper now hanging off. Ghost Rider does the Dodge Diplomat a huge favor, tossing it off the track, flipping it back over again. The bumper now just barely hanging on and also bent, but that car will make the team. Great recovery by the Diplomat. The Rolls Royce tries to take down Ghost Rider. It backfires. Ghost Rider bouncing back down the track, knocking the Rolls Royce off, and it flips over just at the last second. Ghost Rider just barely managing to knock it over and take it out of contention. However, there are two eliminations. That's all the cars that are going down. The Plymouth Fury and the Rolls Royce were both eliminated. That takes us to four cars, but we need five cars to make this team. So this is where all of you who support this channel get to make an important decision. Do you want that Rolls Royce on the team or do you want the Plymouth Fury? If you're already a patron, head over there now and place your vote. If you are not yet a patron, now's a great time. Lots of cars to get sponsored in this upcoming season. There's some nice shots of the Plymouth Fury trying to do some damage. And there's the Rolls Royce causing some damage to the Plymouth Fury, in fact. You can use some of these hits to try to make your decision, or you can just decide which car you like better. Any criteria is fine, and anybody at any level on Patreon can vote. I figure since the reason I can keep making Junkyard Joust is the support of my patrons, that this is a great way for them to have some input into the next season. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like, and comment. You know I like to hear from you. We'll be back next week with a big match, the first custom semi-final. It is going to be a wild one. Until then, have a good one. See you soon on the Junkyard Joust.